This video lesson just gives you a basic overview of the powerful multivariate analysis capabilities built into Spotfire. Now, what is multivariate? Well, multivariate quite simply means multiple variable. So if you have univariate, you're looking at one variable, bivariate, you're looking at two variables, and multivariate, you're looking at two or more variables, you're getting into higher dimensions. So let's jump right into Spotfire and take a look. For this overview, I'm going to be using this World Bank data set. And this has all kinds of metrics for different countries around the world. It shows things like cost to import and export a container. It shows things like labor force participation rate, infant mortality, population growth, all sorts of different metrics. So for a univariate analysis, a pie chart's a great example. Here, the pie is sectored by one variable, so I'm really just seeing one variable with this pie chart. Now, a bivariate analysis, a bivariate visualization shows a relationship between two variables. So here I have adolescent fertility rate and population growth. Now, I could kind of expand this into something like maybe a three-dimensional scatter plot and color these things and size these points by uh, different uh, attributes, different dimensions. But once you start getting over you know, three dimensions, it gets really hard to visualize things on a two-dimensional screen. So in Spotfire, we have built in multidimensional and multivariate visualizations, such as the heat map, for example. And in the heat map, I have all of these values in each of these cells for each country, and it's showing the minimum, average, and max in this color scheme. And you can select one of these columns, and this will sort it by the maximum to the minimum. You can hit it again, and it'll sort it the other way, and hit it a third time, and then it will remove the sorting and go back to just the name sorting. And I'm showing this across 20 different columns here, so 20 different dimensions. I'm not limited, and this gives me a good view of uh, where there are certain hotspots, so that's why it's called a heat map. And heat maps also have the capability to do hierarchical clustering, which we're going to show in another video lesson. Now, next, I have a parallel coordinate plot. So a parallel coordinate plot has, similar to a heat map, all of these different dimensions all on one axis. And this can be thought of kind of like a multidimensional scatter plot. But rather than having a point, I have a line connecting between the different axes. So across the first three axes, I have these everything to the left of this area. And as I go into higher dimensions, the line continues and each line represents a country. So if I select this, I can see, you know, one country. If I select this, I can see another country. This is Zimbabwe. And this is showing across all of these dimensions. Now I can select also the axes and I can see what the value is for that axis here on the, on the right side of the Y axis. Um, and I can do this, so for instance, cost of import, this is in the thousands, because these are in thousands of dollars. Um, so I can see for Zimbabwe, this is around $6,100. Now on the left, I have a percentage, and this is normalized. So this has taken the maximum value of, out of each column and put that at 100%, and the minimum value and put that at 0%. And it scaled everything in between. And this allows me to get a normalized view of each of these countries, and actually the heat map does the same thing. By using this color scheme with min, average, and max, this is looking at a normalized value of each of these cells in the heat map. Now, it's important to touch on normalization in terms of multivariate analysis. It's when you have different variables all on different scales, you often want to normalize that. So here, Spotfire has normalization available to you as a built-in transformation. And I've done some normalization on a handful of columns here. I've selected them out of my list. I've brought them over with the Add button, and I've chosen to scale it between 0 and 1. So 0 will be the lowest value. 1 will be the maximum value for each column. And for each column, all the values in between the minimum and the max will be decimal values between 0 and 1. Now, I've told Spotfire to keep the original columns, but then add a new column with the term normalized before this column name. So let's take a look at how this looks in my visualizations. Now, here in this line chart, I use the original columns that were not normalized, and you can see that they are all on different scales here. It's very difficult to read. Now, over here on this chart, I actually use the normalized values that were calculated from the Spotfire transformation, and this looks a bit more like a parallel coordinate plot. Now, this is just a visual example of how normalization can help. You can use these normalized values with line similarity and k-means clustering, which we'll show in different video lessons.